by Tenara Tate Kwafu, who my name Aroha Mai Motakatsureti. Sorry about being late to this game. We currently have the mags close to the net here. But also, turning the girls on the opposite end. I am going to be your commentator, Paul Kaiho, short for this match on court two. Again, I wanted to apologize for my lateness in this game. Managed to dig that up beautifully, the mags. There will be a bit more touches than you need. Unfortunately, Kapoi. Anyways, let's get these coaches' names. Ngamihi Nui Kakoto. We'll start off with our Tauranga girls. Kapoi, our coach being Taina Savage. Ngamihi Mai. And also, for our coach for Mount Albert Grammar School, being the Mags, is Nikita Kolose. Ngamihi Nui Kakorua Tahi. Ngakai Fakahare o Enei Tima. Ngakai Ari Himeki to the coaches. Thank you so much. Kapoi, and we are going to head into our game. Aroha Mai. I'm not commentating on the last few plays. But we are going to start now. Kapai Kowai Tene Hei Kai Tono Wamao Albert. So a beautiful pick up there. Set to the outside, tips it just between the block and the antenna. From the back, tips it over. Kapai. And there we go, number 11 there, called Havila Suali. Ramihimu Kyako Suali, Aroha Mai. Now number three here, being Miss Tevuna for the serve. Solid serve, they managed to lay just in the inside of the court, managing an ace there. Kapai. That puts Mount Albert in the lead by two, being four, turning the girls at two. We had an intense match on our right side of the court, being on number three, and it was indeed Rangi Toto versus Hillcrest. Going to five sets, Rangi Toto managed to win that one. Now, this isn't a semi finals match at the final, this is just a regular match, but not just any kind of regular match, it is going to be an intense one. Two powerful teams going up against each other, Tauranga Girls College, Mount Albert, Owe Tokuriye. It's going to be a big one. Can't find Miss Hamond here, number 11 is serving. Thank you for fixing our. Sponsor sign there, Apollo Projects, Namihi Kyakoto. Goes for the dig there. Beautiful dive, might I say. Unfortunately, does it connect? Kapoi, and on the left side, we had Rangitoto also win their game against St. Andrews, I believe. That is the girls. And the whole entire team that came from Rangitoto is indeed taking a photo together. Kapoi Koto. Miss Hamond for the serve. We'll make it over. Flies outside of the court there, unfortunately. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, back in action, not a mind. <laughs> Miss Hamond for the serve, number 11. short I'm afraid. Giving the serve now to Mount Albert, Albert Grammar School. Kapoi te kaumatahi Suali. Hei kai tonu i te poro. Suali for the serve. Kamau te wehi. And it will hit outside the block there. Beautiful spike there by Miss Randall. By substitutions aren't being made. Miss Suali is now coming out for number two there, being Miss Lulia. Now I was given I was given a name for number four, Josephine being Jojo there. Just going to confirm that real quick. Couple who's serving Miss Mordinger, number ten, for the serve on the opposite end of the court. Picks it up nicely. Gets over the block there. Beautiful receive. Outside to Miss Randall, picks it up, beautiful dig. And it will be a chance ball here for our Tauranga girls. Back outside. Will they pick it up? And that'll be the point there for Tauranga girls. Confirmation on number four being Jojo. Oh, 
right, that is our libero, number four, for Tauranga, oh, Mount, so sorry, Mount Albert Grammar School. Another service ace there for our girls in Tauranga College. Now leading eight to five, Miss Mordinga. Kapai, we do have another camera set up on court two here as well. Beautiful dig, nice and deep. Outside, lands in. Tauke Tawa Patsu, that is number six, Miss Tia Tia. Now we do have two Tia Tias on our team today in Mount Albert. One being Emina Tia Tia and the other being Gianna Tia Tia. So nga mihinu i kia koru atahi. Now Miss Tia Tia, number seven, Emina. Emina for the serve. Beautiful serve there, picked up by Miss Randall. Mordinger will send it up back to Miss Randall. Heading it over, Tia Tia for the save. And we'll send it over also. Morning, I will send it out back. And it will be a stud pass, unfortunately. Kamo Tewahita, you number seven. Mia Shepard from Tauranga. Now it is Miss Randall for the serve now. Picked up by Tia Tia. Also hit by Tia Tia, number six. Randall will pass it over. Lulia for the set. We need to get it over, but our girls keep it up and alive. Tips it over and lands inside the court. Gives Mags another point in the game. Nine, being to Tauranga girls in seven now to Mount Albert. Kamo te wehi. Koe tēnei te kaumarima. Hei kai tono i te poro is indeed tole a whoa. Miss Marley tole a whoa for the serve. Picked up nicely. We'll send it out back to Randall. Kapai Tia Tia will in fact send it over. Mordinga with the first touch. And it will be a quick, unfortunately, unable to connect there. And there we go. We have our replays at the final. Isn't that amazing? Tauke, tauke. Kapai. Hera wete kite in our camera. It's lovely to see that we have a bit more angles and replays on our plays. A lot of plays there. Kapai Randall will get the third touch there and it will land at the back end of the court. Kamo te wehiki akwe hine. Now leading by two, Tauranga Girls College. Koe tēnei hei kai tonu i te pōro, maku e kite. Just seeing who is now serving the ball, number 12. Will indeed be Miss Roberts. Beautiful dig, Miss Randall will finish it. And goes for the dive. Get the play, Lulia. I did just want to give mention that our second camera, being our replay camera, will just be close to the net there. Just testing. Just doing a bit of testing at the moment. But let me just confirm we will be seeing it a bit often throughout the game. Okay, just confirmation. I just got that we won't be seeing it often. Just testing. Papa, unfortunately, the hair is blocking the number here, but I believe it is Miss Tia Tia for the serve, and I was correct. Well, she's sitting outside of the court. Both teams are showing a lot of promise though. Definitely keen to see how this game goes. Miss Riri Nui, number two. Hey kai tonu i te poru. Picks it up by Tia Tia. Sends it up. And we'll go over the net and... That is a double touch called. Giving Riri Nui yet another chance to serve. Number two for Tottenham Girls.
Managed to pull through in the lead there. Tauranga girls. Tetsuo picks it up. Sends it over the net. Moringa. Oh my, that's not Moringa. Beautiful block. Outside. And there was indeed a net touch by our girls from Mount Albert College. Tips it over, unfortunately lands into the net. Eradicate the boy. Cup by a timeout has indeed been called by our Mount Albert team. Giving Tauranga Girls College, they do have quite a lead at the moment, six points rather. So our side camera view won't be official at the moment. Just seeing how we'll work and how they can improve it for the finals tomorrow. Kapai Kurite, Nga Kohine, Otene Nga Tima, Mount Albert Grammar School. Sweet Koi Tenehe Kaitono and back to Riri Nui as our server. Bit of a top spin there. Dropping down a bit earlier than usual. Excuse me. Did anyway, hey Kaitono for the serve. And it does land out. Beautiful call there by our girls. Kapoi number eight stepping up to the line here. Miss Taylor Rose, hey kai tono i te pōru. It's over the net, well done, good call. Randall picks it up second. And where will this go outside? Slams it off the block, managed to pick it up. And the ball is alive, let's see. Keeps the ball in play, well done. Comes off the block there and there's no touch. Well done, our girls called it out. It was indeed a net touch. What a beautiful pick up there. Managed to keep the ball alive just barely. Our girls thought they had won a bit earlier than that. It was Taylor Rose. Beautifully picked up. Sending it to Randall. Jojo. Sending it over. Kapaya will it be yet another? No, she won't allow it to be another chance ball here we go let's see what they can pull off turning the girls sends it up beautifully done all the girls keep it in play here we go we can see our girls are definitely eager to go run for that ball definitely intense net their partner Miss Taylor Rose hey Kai Tono Picked up by Shepard. Outside hit will come off the block there. Well done. Jojo sends it out back. Tips it over. Manages to get it there. Kapai Suali. The Arhoma, if I do pronounce that name incorrect, if it is Suali or Suali. So I'll go with Miss Havila as number 11, being the given name. Manages to keep it over the net. Really order. Outside. Sams are down, but they're ready. Randall will get the last touch there. Sends it outside. Can't buy Miss Randall will hit from the back. Picks that up just barely. JJ, nope. That is Tia Tia with the last touch. Picks it up yet again. Oh, we're Tokiri. Terawe Hoki. Outside. Amazing defense being displayed. Here we go, here. And it is out. Good. 
does a weird good. Great call there from our team. Look at that. High quality camera from the side of the net there. Kapoi. Timeout has indeed been called as Mount Albert tends to close the gap of the lead there. Our girls are definitely looking a bit happy than usual. Kapoi, Kapoi. Now, I do definitely need to get our names down lock. I only got half in the brain at the moment. Getting back onto the court, the girls are ready. Maya Taylor Rose, hey Kai Tono Taylor Rose is back to serving. Shepard. Leading for the set, Randall will send it out. Taylor Rose. And miscommunication there, giving the ace to Taylor Rose. Kamo Tewihi. Kapai outside camera is indeed coming down now, unfortunately. One camera for the match now. Tefano, Taylor Rose, Hei Kaitono. Picks it up, that is Shepard. Giving Mount Albert Taylor Rose yet another go at serving. Power of the serve, Tefano. In order to maintain the game, you must keep the ball up in play. Jeez, what a quote created by me. That is signed from Pukaiho Short. And the ball will roll into play. But the ball is a bit late. That gives the point to Mount Albert. Now pulling away in the lead now. Oh, we're talking here. Ka pai. Serve. Picked up lovely. Outside. Woody Hunter gets blocked. Nope. It lands back onto the side of the maze, giving Totem Girls back the point. The ball is running away. There we go. We've got a, got a savior. Miss Shepard will now be serving for Totem College. Excuse me. Sends it over. Outside, rest Bandle. Oh, and the point goes to Mags. I was wondering what the call was there, waiting for the hand signal when it comes. See our girl celebrating. I was like, um, what are you celebrating for? <laughs> Two point lead is being maintained now. Miss Tebunga, number three, serving currently. Tips it over. Rudinui is there. Sends it out to Randall. She will hit. Kapai, let's see. Gets blocked. Back out. Tia, 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 tia. Randall. Picks it up. Well done. Beautiful dig. Taylor Rose will finish that one. Sending it back out to Randall. Gets blocked. Picks it back up though. Well done. Managed to get out of the way at the same time. Tia Tia. Well done. Tia Tia hits it over to Miss Marley there. Gets it over the net. <laughs> Kapai Tevunga. Serving number three. Beautiful dig by Miss Randall, sending it back out. Woody Hanna unfortunately hits the net. Mount Albert now in the lead with a four points. 21, Mount Albert, 17, Tauranga girls. Nga mehinui. Ka pai. Te vunga hei kai tonu i te pōro. 
Unfortunately, it is a bit low, almost there. Now Tauranga College maintaining, so sorry, Tauranga College now able to bring back some points. Miss Sylvie Hamond, Heikai Tono, number 11. Solid hit, Tietia picks it up. Picked up by Tietia. Slammed by Tietia. Beautiful play, number six, Tietia, being Gianna Tietia. So I've been saying Tietia quite a lot. We'll go with Emina and Gianna. Kapai te kaumatahi, Miss Havila as our server. Randall manages to pick that one up. Miss Randall will go for the hit as well. But Taylor Rose is there. From the back now. We'll tip it over. Blocks managed to touch it there. Gives the point there to the Mags. Now with a five point lead. And it is Miss Havila serving once again. Float down the middle there. Picked up. Outside to Randall. Sam's off the antenna, unfortunately, putting Mount Albert there at set point for the first set. Kapoi, here we go. Tefano Havila will be serving once again. Let's see how they will manage. Kapoi, okay, Wainga. Shepard picks it up. Will be set out to Widihana. Managed to break through the block there. Well done. Substitutions have been made. Lulia coming in for Miss Havila. Caught by Mordinger as our server on the opposite side. Serve. Picks up by Jojo. Out back, Taylor Rose. Beautiful pick up there. Morning, I will send it back. Sends it out. Did he knew? Picks it up wonderfully, Taylor Rose. Kapai, there's a chance ball here. Out back to Tietia. Morning, gets it. Well done, Tietia. Picks it up. And sends it to the other side, unfortunately, under the net. Now just four points behind there. Is Toting College being at 20, 24, and Mount Albert. Kapai koia rako mōrunga, he kai tono i te pōro, mōrunga will be our server, no. The timeout has indeed been called. Due to Tauranga girls, managing to pull through a bit of points there, racking it up. Trying to stop the momentum there. Skills being displayed by both sides. A bit sad that our camera from the side has been taken down, but they did a few tests. So you'll be excited to see that our pōpō e te whānau. Kapai cheers, and we are back on. Set point still to Mount Albert. Turning a, turning a girl, sorry, still managing. Mordinger will be serving indeed. Well done, Taylor Rose gets the first hit. It'll be sent out to Tietia, slams it down, picked up. Randall, and the call has been made for off the block. Well done, 21. No way, it's getting kind of intense here. Closing in the gap between the points. Mordunga serving. Serve. Picked up by Tietia. Lulia will tip it over. Randall gets the second hit. And it will be a chance ball here. They have to make do. Outside Tietia. Off the block there. Well done. Randall. Off the block. But Taylor Rose is there. Lulia will send it out. Libero is ready. Mordinger. There we go. First set now going to Mount Albert Grammar. Modi or Kyakoto, that is the first set for this match.
Ka pai te whanau, no mai hoki mai ki tēnei o ngā kēmu whakahirahira. Welcome back to our game here on Court 2. We have Mount Albert on the opposite side of the net now, with Tauranga girls closest to us. And I also have Dave joining me. Welcome. All right, uh, great to be here for this match. I've been on the uh, boys' courts, and I think I've had three five-setters today. <laughs> That's long. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, boy. But they've been uh, dramatic uh, games, and uh, we can yes. now tell you who the finalists for tomorrow are going to be in the boys' uh, Tauranga boys. And they're going to be up against, uh, well, they're up against Rangatoto, who came back dramatic Ooh, fashion. There we go. Yeah, and one in the fifth. I've been two sets of love down. Uh, against Hillcrest, big noise coming out of the crowd there. And uh, also Rangatoto girls are through to the final because yes, they indeed. came back from uh, a couple of sets down as well. Yeah, against St. Andrews, was it? Uh, yeah, that's right. And who are they going to play in the final? I think you saw Christ College, was it? Christ College You're trying to remember all the games yeah. that you've gone through. Oh my, oh my gosh, there's been so many days though. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we yes. do have finals tomorrow, 3.30 for the Division One girls. And uh, also five o'clock for the Division One boys. And uh, where can people see that? They can see that actually live on Māori television. So instead of it just being on Whakata Māori live streamed on YouTube, we will now be linear on television. Can't wait. Yes, Great I did stuff. see to see, I did get to see a bit of the game at the end there. Definitely a lot of noise rumbling the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> it's great when you get all the students cheering for whatever school they, they support. Uh, it may not be their school, but yeah, they, they may be supporting the Waikato school against the big Auckland school or something like that. <laughs> so in this uh, first set, Mount Albert taking it to uh, Pataiho. And uh, who was your sort of, I wouldn't say star player, but who really stood out in that first set? So in the first set for me, as a strong defender there, now serving Taylor Rose. So Taylor Rose now serving is actually a powerful defender, but I've seen her pick up almost every single hit off the block on the last set. That's wow. what allowed Mount Albert there to take a big lead, never letting the ball touch the ground. But on the Tauranga side, we definitely have some power hitters being one. I believe it is Taimana Randall, number eight. She's definitely one to fear. Yeah, she's gone out to the left. You can see her set. They there set the point there, didn't they? Yes. They, they knew it. Okay. So tell me, uh, Pakaiho, educate me. The Tereo word for tall. It is taroa. Say again? Taroa. Taroa? Yes. All right. So Hetsino Taroa, yeah, she is very tall. All right. And Poto being short. Well, that's your surname. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the first time I've heard it in that state. I've never heard a lot of why are you so short when you're so tall, but yeah. you know, it happens. That was <laughs> actually good, Sorry about that. <laughs> good place to use it. Uh, we can laugh about that. Uh, in the meantime, who's up serving? It is Miss Woody Hunter Cole, picked up by Tia Tia. There are, in fact, two Tia Tias playing for Mount Albert, one being Emina Tia Tia, number seven. And one with the longer hair covering her in number now. I seem China. to remember these two during the beach volleyball. Yes, they were indeed. In <laughs> and we're trying to figure out which one was which, and they just said, don't worry about it. <laughs> we didn't really get the, uh, we the connection with the person in the name. We just heard Tia Tia. Yeah. So it was a lot easier for us, actually. Yeah, when you've only got two of them together, and they were <laughs> playing together. A uh, bit of fun on that one. And uh, that is one of the things that we do have to recall and uh, remember that this is secondary school sport. You know, you've got students, I guess the youngest one's probably 13, 14, through to 18 year olds. It's competitive and very competitive, <laughs> certainly at the top. Yes. But it is school sport. Yeah. You know, uh, as much as we want to take it seriously, and some sports take it more seriously than others, uh, in, in all sorts of sports, there's yes. you know, all sorts of sports, but this is still school sports. This is about learning and growing as a person. I, I Been agree. around 1,800 other students, teachers, trainers, whatever, seeing the best things, some teams that aren't as best. Uh, over on uh, Arena 4, yeah. there's a snow freeze uh, thing there. <laughs> so they're, they're loving it over there. It's not in this area, and two. <laughs> they're but, out there with ice cream, yeah. stick shakes, slushies. Yeah, yeah that's it. But it's, it's, it's that sort of thing that's people being social, people talking to new schools. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're, you're seeing schools that they wouldn't normally interact with for whatever reason, just geographically. Yes. And that's the whole thing about growing as a human, and that's what uh, school sport is also about. Yes, it's definitely the experience that they gain coming here. Getting to meet new people, you know. I agree with you. It's all about, you know, growing and 
Learning with new experiences. Out to Randall. Off the block there. Still picks it up. Well done. Oh, no. Tia Tia will send it out to Tia Tia. There you go. Got to use that one there. You've been waiting. <laughs> uh, we've got a question there. What are they looking for? A net touch or a double touch, maybe? The second referee coming across. One thing in the uh, semi-finals. Oh, they've got the point. No, now Mount Albert's uh, looking at it, saying, well, we don't agree with them getting the point. We <laughs> originally got it. But one thing you do notice is that in the semi-finals, we have the official referees, yes. New Zealand or international referees. And it just helps because, OK, sure, we've got an adult here, but quite often it's a, a student who's just played a two-hour match, five-setter, yeah. and then they're put up there. That's pretty tough. Yeah, no, I agree with you there. They definitely have to, they want to relax, really. They don't, not, not as much they don't want to be there, yeah. but, you know, they don't want to be there. Yeah, under pressure. <laughs> and uh, that, that's one of the things was uh, for the semi-finals, we did see proper uh, referees. And uh, now I can see one of the boys caught. Uh, <laughs> Johan Timmer is up there, New Zealand <laughs> coach. He's a big student. Uh, his Wait, that's a student? Oh, I thought you said that was a student. Yeah, yeah he's oh definitely not a student. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> but, but that's the thing, you know, you, with the more high-pressured games, they brought in the official New Zealand referees, international referees, and it just helps, because oh, otherwise, yeah. too much pressure on some students. Totoko, totoko ga kōruru, I agree. And I also noticed that in the later games, just like the game that happened on here with the semi-finals, we had seen a lot more challenges being made by our girls on the court. Randall with the serve. Outside to Tia Tia. And it breaks through the block. We're just one point ahead now. And this will be Amina Tia Tia as our server. And tomorrow, starting at 8 o'clock, we have finals. Second division final. I think we're going to be back here for that one. Uh, that's the second division final. We'll let you know who that is. At Beautiful day. dig. Sends it over, huh? well done. That was Taylor Rose as our hit. Moldinga will set it out back to Randall. Just the, the set move there, that number 12 went up, mm. faked it with eight standing behind, ready to hit it. As much as I do enjoy seeing our attacks from the back, I do think that it leaves a bit of a risk for if it does come off the block, there's no one there to quite pick it up. And I have seen that quite, uh, happen quite a lot. Oh, miscommunication there. It is an awkward moment when the ball lands perfectly between two players there. Do I grab it? Do you grab it? I'm a libero. I should grab it. <laughs> I've seen it happen a lot with the eyes. Just the eyes alone tell a story. Miss Tia Tia is our server. It's like uh, the Mount Albert girls getting ready for a dance. <laughs> no, it's putting their arms up. Randall will get the last touch there. And the ball will be set just outside. Well done. Oh, there we go. Managed to pick that one up this time. Jojo is our libero in the light blue. Oh, that's right through the outstretched arms. Comes up a successful shot. Sadly, I do not have a name for our number three libero in the white from Tauranga Girls. Not on the list, no, she's not. Oh, not on the list, unfortunately. And that is three points now in the lead. Not Albert Grammer. And uh, the error for Roberts as she gets subbed off. I really need to use that word a bit more, error. <laughs> I, I, really, I haven't used that a single time during this Entire tournament. Oh, beautiful off the block. Still managed to pick it up. Send it out back. It will be a tip. Tia Tia with the first touch. Taylor Rose. And it's slam it down. Now, I will say, with the game that was happening next door, the Hillcrest versus Rangi Toto, how loud it was there. It felt as though it was just as loud over here yeah. for me watching that it became the energy in the room. It was so intense, you know, and being the semi-finals for our girls as well, not this game, the one previous, 
Definitely was intense to watch. Intense to watch, sorry. And the quick manages to pull three. Well done, Woody Hunter Cole. Yeah, it's great to have the support, and we can only imagine what it's going to be like for the finals tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be crazy, I hope. I'm sure it will be. Uh, the Rangatoto supporters, of course, they're in both finals. Uh, I would assume that a lot of uh, spectators who are perhaps neutral uh, off, off, goes off. off to the side. Now, a lot of supporters who are neutral in where they come from will be going for the other side. Not that they're anti Rangatoto, but they just want to see someone else beat, else, the, yes. beat the big school, beat the <laughs> champions. Nothing wrong with that, and I'm sure Rangatoto, with their very good coaches, will be drumming that into them. But you managed to come back, both of you, in five <laughs> in the semis, so you can uh, put another big effort in the final. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, Mel Albert got a little bit of a lead, and it just kicked it up. It's only three points. But all the way through, it means that your opposition have to always fight to catch up. Yes. Well, that's managed, that managed to happen in the first set there. They managed to pick up a few points at the beginning and maintain that lead. Right outside there, managed to hit over the blockers. And that is Miss Havila Suwali. She's done some pretty powerful hits in the last set there. Kapai, I believe it is Miss Taylor Rose. Now last set when she was in the same position as Sova. Being in the backcourt just did as well as her fellow libero Jojo. And it is a bit off-timed there. Ketapai. There you go, pulling through in the lead is Mount Albert yet again. Quite a broad defensive level there, spread out. Mm. Breaking through the blocks. Just shows how well she works in volleyball. She managed to fix what was happening on the net there. Yeah. The little antenna, she just she knows her stuff. That is Miss, Miss Randall. Very good uh, positional play, uh, understanding of the game. Yes. So now we've got a bit of height at the net for Tabanga girls. There you go, and it worked out. The block was there. So who are our blockers for Tabanga girls? I know number 11, who's uh, coming in for number 11 there? Number 11 is currently the Hammond? Sylvie Hammond. And also up there, 12, that's Roberts. Number 12, quite tall as well. And it's just outside, Randall. The thing is, it's good to see that even with the points difference, our girls are still out there enjoying their time. Yeah. And that's what it's really all about as well, as well as, you know, great, great tournament, great competition, you want to win. But making sure you're out there enjoying your time. Ooh, can she chase it? Manages. And uh, some great support from the sponsors as well, Bailey's. There's also a whole lot of projects, Caltex, and uh, New Zealand Carbon Farming as well. Of course, thank you very much to everybody involved. Volleyball New Zealand, uh, Volleyball Manawa 2, all the uh, volunteers. Some of them extremely hard working, doing long hours. And of course, the coaches, parents, and uh, teachers who are here as well. It's right. so around about 1,800 students as we take a time out. Mount Albert Grammar, though, uh, what are they, seven points away from uh, taking the sets, whereas Talamara girls, seven points away from equal. Aye, aye, aye. It is a bit of a game we have got going on here. Mount Albert managing to take the lead a bit further than last set. Turning the girls, though. What's uh, Mount Albert doing different to get that lead? Is uh, less mistakes, just doing the basics? Yes, that is definitely um, something to point out. They do tend to work with the basics, and they work well with it, actually. But I would say that Mount Albert is also more of a defensive team. They're really good at keeping the ball in play at all cost. A lot of dives, a lot of beautiful deep digs as well. And a lot of smiles at the front of the court. Yes, that as well. <laughs> oh, I managed to keep that one in. Let's look up for the setup. Inside okay. sets here. Off the block there. Lodi Ora. 
Yes, it is crazy to me. You know, today was my first time actually having the time to go all the way back there to the other courts, yeah. seeing four courts behind us. Then in the next room, there are how many? It's about, I don't know, it's about 12 maybe? 12, yeah. yeah something like that, 12 <laughs> or 16. And I was, at first I really thought it was just the four here and then <laughs> another two. Yeah. 21 in total. 21, the year go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they've been using uh, also uh, Massey University to a yes. certain extent as well. Yes, so I've heard, so I've heard. So that just shows how big this sport is growing here in Aotearoa. With the amount of players as well. Most of our lists of teams almost reaching full. Yeah. Just shows its popularity. I mean, it's, it's expensive for teams to get around when you've got you know, 10 players plus mm. uh, a couple of coaches, manager, whatever you like. Uh, some teams have really travelled. Yeah, they've got the uh, point there going to Mount Abbott up to 20. But yeah, some teams, when I look at the uh, Bay of Islands team, out of pretty much Kawakawa, uh, I would expect. That's three hours drive to Auckland. You've got to drive through Auckland. Then you've got to drive another six hours to get it's here. Past the north, though, where? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> can you imagine driving that long with one team, a couple of managers in there? <laughs> oh. Probably get sick of each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the amount of stops that it have to have. Now, was there a school from Otago? Yes, there's a couple, yep. Oh there's, my uh, goodness. There Kings you go. High School uh, in the boys. There's also Otago Girls. <laughs> Uh, a couple of others, I believe, as well. I think uh, Okatipu High School from uh, oh, yes. Queenstown. Yeah. So there, there are schools from pretty much all around. Uh, Waimea is outside of Christchurch. Yep. Uh, there's a few from there. Ro uh, Rolleston as well. That's uh, about 20 k's. Uh, how many k's? Uh, so it's our 45 minutes, so 40 minutes drive of uh, Christchurch. There's Nayland, which is out of Nelson. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've seen Gisborne girls they've been around so on the east coast far out definitely from all across Aotearoa yep. Whanui it's and then uh, you've got the wider Auckland schools the North Harbour schools don't like saying they're from Auckland <laughs> <laughs> they're from the North Harbour yeah they're We're from, from Harbour. <laughs> pretty much independent and they like to think they're stronger as well uh, that's Rangatoto, Takamata Grammar, Carmel uh, all those sort of schools Long Bay, Westlake can't wait to wear here far out Ball from next door. And let's have a look now. 22-13. And it is Miss Mortimer now serving. Number 10. Going way back. Almost off the canvas. <laughs> Picked up by Taylor Rose. Sitting it outside to Tia Tia. She will hit it and manage to knock it down. Well done. Now closer to 25. Now goes from... So I am going to stand. I like... <laughs> Switching my legs a bit while I do this job. Quite a view we have from up here. Yes, yeah, uh, superb. Kapoi, let's see. Now it is Tia Tia serving at the moment. Number seven, Tia Tia, I mean. Beautiful hit down the middle. We send it back to the opposition side. Down the middle. A little tap Tips over. Over. Randall is ready for it. Managed to get through the block there. That is number two, Miss Riri Nui. Kapoi, who's this coming up? It is Miss Randall. Time on a Randall, number eight. Solid serve there. Yeah, powerful. Yeah. Set it over, possibly being a chance ball here. Let's see. We're calling it out. Oh. Yes, called out. So uh, one more to the total for Mount Albert. 22. Substitutions. Which team would you say Pukaiho has been your uh, noisiest one in amongst themselves? <laughs> mm. that nothing wrong with the, you know, keep themselves going, whether they've been winners or losers. I would like to say... Probably Sacred Hearts, the red team just to our left. Oh, onto okay. the, onto so they're on court one? Yeah, they've been, they were quite loud in the previous games. The ones that I had uh, commentated on anyways, they were extremely loud. But I think Mags here is definitely tied up with them. Okay. Well, it's obviously cool. fires them up, but that one was too far. 
taps herself in the head, go, oh no. <laughs> it seemed as though it went off Randall's ponytail there for a second. And uh, just watching one of these star players for Rangatoto wander by, that's uh, Norton. She's bandaged up on the right leg. It's been a bit of a problem for her over the last couple of days. And I can tell you what, Rangatoto College want her to play. Yeah, She's so their star. She She's under 20 player as well for New Zealand. Decent player, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, yes, since it over, was there a touch of the net? No, there wasn't, so they're okay. Mags take it to set point. Well, let's see how we go with this one, it is. And we're not being uh, derogatory by calling them Mags, because that is on the back of their shirts as well. <laughs> and that is what they're known as. They will say we're from Mags. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, because I have been trying to say Mount Albert. Didn't want to discourage anything. Mags is fine. We've got Rangi, we've got Mags. <laughs> uh, I tell you, there's some names for some of these schools, and they're all happy with them. It's just common, common knowledge. This one. It's a, it's a powerful serve there. Sends it back outside to Shepard. What do sends it over, but managed to dig it up. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all smiles. They might be down, Tauranga girls, but uh, they were still smiling about that one. They got the point. It is indeed Miss Riddy Nui up to serve, which is number two here. Now, I just wanted to ask you, did you see any funny costumes or whilst you were working up in your nest? There has been a few. And tight, but out. One more to the total for Taronga. I did see one of the, the second referee at one stage was wearing shark slippers. Shark slippers. One of the boys. <laughs> I managed to catch a spider woman and a lobster. Oh, the call between the two players, number four and I think it was number six, uh, number eight, sorry. Uh, not quite so good. You've got to remember that number four, or the person in the other color, yes. is usually the scrambler who should be tidying things up, right? They should be making the call. Hey, I'm at the back, I'm yes. going to take this. And they should be setting it up for the other players most of the time. Yeah. That is indeed the Liberia So just like them. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful dig as well, might I say. Breaks through the block, and that will give Mark Albert there the first set of our game. Oh, second uh, set. Second sorry. set, yeah. They're yes. up two sets to love. So we're going to come back in just a moment with uh, the a third set. Coming back in now for this the third set. It is two sets to love. Mount Albert, they're in the near court. Uh, colors a little bit of a clash. We can see 
the players there. They've got mags written on the back. That is Mount Albert Grammar out of uh, Auckland, up against Tawanga Girls College, the far side. Nicely set up. And switches across. Number seven, Tia Tia. That's uh, Emina Tia Tia. Long, yes, too long. So, good start, a long rally for the start of the third. Siwiali will serve this one for Mount Abbott. It's pretty simple, easy action. And then keeps that one out, digs it. You heard the call, it's pretty much get out of my way, I'm going to take it. Play diving forward, still going. And uh, no, don't think you're going to get that one. <laughs> Embedded in the crowd, the two of them. Not sure if that's actually the correct score, one all, but uh, we will check in on that in. Uh, a moment. That's a lovely shot. Tia Tia goes out wide on the left hand side. Able to target it through. Pretty excited about that one. Jumping up and down. And Randall taking the shot. A bit of subtlety on it. Go back for the serve now. Woody Hanakol. Over by Emina Tietia. Get some of the points. And the subs rolling on. Number two coming up. Lulia. Left handed shot. What a powerful one. Why have gone out? May not. Which you know, of course, it's a tear tear out there. There's two of them on the court most of the time. And she's dominating that left hand side for Mount Albert. Bounce that one through. Nice shot for. Ariana Roberts. Good angle, got up high. Didn't have to hit it too hard, but there was certainly a bit of pace on it. Ball has come back. We had one of the balls going way under the stands and everybody trying to crawl on their hands and knees to locate it again. Mount Albert took that point to the uh, delight and it's here to the players just jumping around the court excitement and 
words of encouragement for players of both sides from their teammates. That one though coming off. Number 11, Suali. And uh, Tauranga uh, back in this one a little bit. As we have uh, Randall to go way out to the right hand side, her left. Coming up with the search. Put a little bit of elevation in, it swings it through. And that one goes way off of the block. Way off the shot, that is. up in the air. Can they control it back? Yes, they can. Again, good defense from uh, Mount Abbott Grammar. One of their keys defensively. Probably better than they are in their attacking sense. One of the strengths of uh, the girls game. Couldn't quite locate that one though. Hit too strong. At their point so moves away. I'm going to take it. Adriana Roberts now serving. Dave, I am now back. Apologies for the late. You had to run up and down the stairs a few times. Yeah, put out of, <laughs> put out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising how when you do that. Uh, in the meantime, it's been pretty much the uh, tradition of what we've seen the last two sets as well, with Mount Albert being defensively very sound. The uh, tier tiers, and uh, we're talking about the two of them, that is uh, Amina and Gianna having another solid game. Uh, once again, Mount Albert not doing almost. Mount Albert not doing anything overly spectacular, but doing the basics well. Yes, and that's sometimes all it takes, really, doing the yeah. basics, perfecting it. That can do it. Up nine five. Not an overly tall team, Mount Albert either. They don't really have too much height. Number nine, probably about their uh, tallest. Let's see, number nine and number 11, maybe? Yeah, and number nine has escaped me. Oh, there she is, down the bottom. I was uh, just missing her off, but she's quite a way down there. Uh, Mamiya. Couple of haters. Tia Tia now to serve. Managed to dig that one up quite nicely. Sends it out back to Randall. Yeah, it just lands outside the court there. And uh, the score, Mount Howard 11 5. 11 5 to there. Ah, te kaumā tahi to Mount Albert, a ko te rima ki Tauranga girls. They're going to learn something this week. <laughs> oh, that comes off the block there. Uh, someone from the other quarter is just uh, <laughs> smashed into the Caltech sign. All right, puts it back up. Thank you very much. <laughs> so oh, now, supporting sponsors along with Bailey's Polo Projects, also New Zealand Carbon Farming. That sends it up. Well done. JoJo's there. And Randall will get the last hits, but JoJo is there to pick it up nice and high. 
Well, that's something I really admire in these games. A nice dig that sends it nice and high. It doesn't really matter where, as long as it's in the court, rather. If it's a nice high pass, everyone in the team gets a time to at least take, you know, half a second of a breather. And that alone can change the pace of which our girls are running, or guys rather, as well. And now we on that serve, number 11 for Mount Albert, Avila Suali. Tia Tia. You know that number seven Tia Tia, that's Amina, is going to go out on the left. That's pretty much her side, isn't it? Yes, no, she's always out there on the left there. Who is it again? Havila Suali now serving. Oh boy. There's a tapper down the middle there, escaping the blockers. So Mount Albert maintaining the lead. Managed to do that in every set now. I've just been steady. was Miss Shepherd digged up nicely. Shepherd will manage to get over the blocks there. Sends it out. It is a bit long. Still manages though. Well done. And uh, this particular match, oh, it's one of the playoffs for placings tomorrow. Of course, we had the semi-finals both the boys and girls. Uh, those finals will be for the boys. Taranga against Rangatoto. Rangatoto defeating. Uh, they defeated the Hillcrest in five. And I can tell you what, the Hillcrest boys were devastated afterwards, as, as you would be. Hillcrest will now take on Mandurewa in the third and fourth playoffs. Now that's bound to be interesting as well. Yeah, that'll be a good one too. Boys. I managed to actually catch a glimpse of their of their chanting, their singing in the yeah. hallway. They're, they're doing it again today. It's superb, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually beautiful. Yeah. You uh, were telling me yesterday that it was... It like goes around the foyer. Yes. It sounds even louder. And, yeah, it's just superb. I, I believe that there's a prayer in there as well. Yes. But they have their own song and uh, very much good teamwork for yeah. Manuelewa. They had an opportunity against Tauranga. They eventually lost 3-1. Uh, that third and fourth playoff against Hilchrist be interesting to see how third and fourth, what it means to a sport. Yeah. Who's switched on the most, who's fatigued, who's injured. The playoffs, well, the finals, the grand final for the girls, that will be at Tauranga. And uh, they're going to be up against Price College, I believe, from Christchurch. You're still trying to go through your brain, you commentated. <laughs> uh, Christ College defeated Otomoto. I think that's the way. Yes, yes. All right, Otomoto will take on uh, St. Andrews for third and fourth. In the meantime, just inching ever so slightly. Inching sounds better than saying centimetering, <laughs> millimetering. Uh, <laughs> making their way towards the 20 mark. It's Mount Albert, but it is Tauranga with the serve. I'd yeah, like to continue that talk about how fatigued our players are tomorrow for our finals. Now, because it has indeed been quite a long week, some would say, for me, honestly, it's gone behind a snap, you know, we come in here, went here for a long time, but watching this amazing sport that we love called volleyball, it's been quite a fast week for us, but for our players, you know, they are indeed giving their all out on the courts each day, each game. How many games do each team manage to play I th in I a day? I think it was, well, for the first three days, uh, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they were playing three a day. So that's nine. Yes. Uh, some of them going five sets. And then uh, today, day four, uh, at least, yeah, it would have been two games, I think. A quarter final and a semi final. So yeah. they're quarters and semis. They're the high pressure games. Yes. They are, in theory, against uh, sides that are quite even together. Yes. You're potentially going to five. Or if you're going four, it's a high pressure four. Right. So that, all that pressure as well comes on you. Mm. And again, they're teenagers. They're not professional athletes. Some of them, Liam Smith out of Hillcrest is one of the better players around in the in the boys' competition. Uh, for uh, Belanga Toto, you've got Norton and the team there. Yes. She, you know, she's got her, it's all mapped out for her in volleyball if she wants to go that way. Uh, possibly a scholarship next year to the US. That's amazing. Uh, there's a couple of others in a similar-ish situation. 
Uh, we've got the two big guys, Williams for uh, Manuel Riva. If someone can yeah. get hold of him, put him in the uh, right direction, does he go volleyball? Yeah. I don't know what he's like in other sports. Uh, he's got he's got the size. Definitely. He's got the talent there. Hop away for Mount Monganui. Hasn't really played that much volleyball before, but he's, again, got yeah, the size. Got does the he size. play basketball as well? Does he play... Does he not want to be some kind of competitive? So there, there, there's some players who are pretty tall, and uh, one player I was very impressed with was uh, the... Uh, captain for Rangatoto. Uh, that was uh, uh, Rihari. I haven't managed he's to a, look at the he's a solid guy, actually. but tall, and uh, he was very a really good leader. Was that the the setter by chance? Number ten, was it? Uh, number twelve there for oh, Rangatoto. Okay. Very good leader. Even when something didn't quite go their way, mm. he brought the team in, kept them going. You know, so there's some really good players around. Uh, you know, some of them have great potential. Yeah, I did want to actually know. I don't know. I don't know if you know, but how? Well, what year level is Ariki Williams, the six foot seven monster in Manu? Do you know what year level he is by chance? Uh, I think he's in his uh, to be year twelve, which would oh be my goodness. second to last. Uh, oh my gosh! You know, it all, all depends on different things yeah. as to do people stay at school, what their circumstances are yeah. at home, what their drive is. So I really enjoy playing this competitive stuff all the time. Yeah, fair. It does get to competitiveness because some of these rangatahi do want to play volleyball for the fun. Yeah. You know, I tend to see a playing lot of that. With your well. mates, with your family yeah. as it is. For, particularly for Manuel Rivera, it's, it's family orientated. Um, and, and other things can get in the way. I mean, you know, we've all seen... I'll just watch this uh, rally here. Yeah, it's been going on. Gets to the box, but picks it up. Well done, Randall. That is a Diddy move with the hits. We've all seen very good young athletes at school or, or at club level who, for whatever reason, whether it's girls, whether it's whatever, partying, gets in the way and they were the best. Yeah. And suddenly they're gone. Yeah. Um, it's just life. Fair, fair point. Managed to pick that one up. Lovely, beautiful dig there by Tia Tia. Unfortunately, the shoulder just fell away. The left shoulder just fell away a little bit there for the number 11 and uh, the ball driven down. Uh, is that Tolifon? No, it's Suriale. Going right out of court almost. But being able to watch all the teams play throughout this week has definitely made me quite jealous. I do indeed want to get back into volleyball myself. Yeah. Oh. Out of uh, Rotorua, where are you going to be? Uh, oh, we'll be of? based in Hamilton. Might be in the Tron. Yeah, back in the Tron. There's a time on a Randall up to serve now, number eight. Yeah, putting it up. He's going to take the shot. Of course, it's a tear to here. Nice little touch on that one. Yeah. She didn't try for a big shot, she just pushed it over the. Defenders. Definitely makes a difference when a triple block is being done. Again, less, less defense able to pick up from a block or by a tap. It oh, was that out. Was it? out, it was out. Yeah. So they are just making their way a little bit closer. It's taking their time, Mount Albert, getting to that straight game victory. Mm. Yeah. Looking for it. It's not as straightforward as they want. Uh, this is uh, Ariana Roberts serving there for Paranga. Tietia hits it over though, manages. Well done. Back out. Shepard. Well done. Where's Tietia? Yep, there she comes. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? That they are able to keep the ball up and play the mags. Good point again. Putting a lot of pressure on Tauranga. Oh, almost. Bit of a clash, almost. Yeah, more players on the ground that were actually <laughs> standing up. Tauranga staying in it, albeit a long way behind. But it is Miss Roberts now to serve. And that will lead Mount Albert here at set point, also game point. And it is indeed Tia Tia 
for the serve. Oh, no, that is Gianna. Oh, that is Gianna Tete, okay. For the serve. And we have number five coming in, Miss Lemafa. That's the first I've seen of her in this game. Something right. else. We'll bring her on match point. Yeah. We'll see how she handles it on the last point of our game. And there we go. Right, oh, it brings it up. Outside to Shepard. Tete keeps it alive. Down the middle there. No call of the net or anything, so we're still in play. <laughs> <laughs> These subs for Mount Albert. <laughs> putting their hands over their eyes and their heads. <laughs> Everybody's grinning there. <laughs> Even the opposition is grinning from that. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a bit of fun. I think that's uh, Tandia Savage as the coach there, maybe, uh, for Tauranga. Yes, I believe it is, yeah. Very experienced player. Coach. Oh, a little dink over. And that will be our game here on court number two. Yeah, there you go. 25 to the Mags and 14 to Tauranga girls, being three sets in the Mags belt. We can't actually tell you what placing that's for or where that's going to put them, but it'll be put them in a playoff tomorrow. Yeah. We'll but they're happy. Yes. Look at that. And there we go. My handshakes all around. I think there's actually another game coming on again after that, but uh, I'm going to leave you on uh, that one, Kaho. And we'll be working out a big day tomorrow, of course, with that final, Ooh. first final division one girls. That's at 3.30. Yeah. It's going to be on TV, of course, and uh, 5 p.m. will be the division one boys. And, of course, both of those finals will be fantastic in their own rights. The Division 1 girls, that's going to be Rangatoto up against Christ College. All right. The Division 1 boys, that is going to be Rangatoto looking for the double again. And that'll be against Tauranga. Jeez. We've got third and fourth playoffs will be earlier in the day as well. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun to uh, see all of those matches. I think we may be doing the second division final as well. But certainly a whole raft of matches throughout the day here on this show court and also on the second show court as well. If your team's not on these show courts, they'll be on either court one or court four. You can see those. I'll be in the commentary, but you'll be able to see the points ticking over as well. Uh, so that's an option there. So we'll leave you on this one for Kai Hill and uh, we'll speak to uh, people tomorrow. Kapoi. Rami Henry Kiakwe, Dave. Great honor to have you and a great privilege to have you next to me for that game. Uh, it's always good to have someone next to you. But either way, our next team is now warming up. We'll figure that out in a moment. But what a beautiful game was this play just then.